Today we're going to talk about what not to do in a hot seller's market. We have one of those markets. Actually, we have a couple, but one of the hottest markets we've seen in our area is the nice film market. And that market has been a strong seller's market for well over 18 months now. And um, my business partner and I, we had a listing up there in a community in Rocky Bayou. So as soon as we released it on the market, we had a contract in six days and we were thrilled and all the inspections were done and we were headed to closing. But unfortunately, the buyers, they had to back out from due to circumstances beyond their control. And we understood that. So we're back on the market and we're getting lots of activity. We were told about a week ago that we were going to get an offer from these buyers who had looked at it a couple of times. Well, something scared them off. They needed to think about it. You know, moving and relocating can be very overwhelming and you've got a lot going on. You're changing jobs, you're moving your family, you're getting your children uh, settled into schools. And so I think these buyers just felt like they needed to take a moment to breathe. So they did. So they waited one week. Well, guess what happened? The same day they decided to come and put in an offer, we had another offer. What happened? Unfortunately, because of the hesitation, the other offer was a bit stronger and that's the offer that the sellers went with. So these buyers, because they hesitated one week, they lost out on the home that they had decided to move forward on. So when you're in a hot market, and things are moving quickly and you know the day is on market and you know that there are multiple offers and I did make sure that all parties knew that there were multiple offers that you need to make sure that you're comfortable with it and move forward don't hesitate in a hot hot market because you know what it just might not be there when you decide to make that decision it's not like a buyer's market where things can be sitting there and you have time to really think about it if you know what you're looking for and you're feeling good in that home and you just feel like everything's right about it move on it well i hope you find the home of your dreams and if you're looking for something don't hesitate to call me this is lisa norton with Cobble Banker Residential Real Estate, you call it paradise, and I call this home.